Are you thinking about entering the real estate market, possibly buying or selling a home? Well, there are some things you need to know before you get started. One of those is choosing the right real estate agent, and I'm going to give you five tips. Welcome back. I'm Steve Reese, a realtor in the Oklahoma City metro area, specifically the suburb of Shawnee, just east of Tinker Air Force Base. I run the SoldOnShawnee.com real estate and community blog. I'm deeply involved in the advocacy efforts for your private property rights through our local, state, and national associations of realtors. And on this channel, I tell you everything you need to know about relocating in the Shawnee, Oklahoma City metro area. So you're thinking of buying or selling real estate right now. It's always a tricky place to hop into, so you need somebody in your corner who is there to guide you through it. First, you want a realtor who is really demonstrating in-depth market knowledge. And that doesn't come just through dabbling and kind of seeing what's happening on the surface, but actually analyzing the data very regularly. So I, monthly, I put out something that, uh, that shows the market trends in our area. But more importantly, if you're a home seller, I think it's very important that we really uh, pay close attention to our competition. And that means seeing uh, properties that come on the market while we are on the market, properties that go pending or that uh, get an accepted contract while we're on the market. All these things uh, play factors into how we position ourselves on the market. So this is for you home sellers. Um, you need an agent who is really tracking what's happening and affecting you directly. For home buyers, that means looking at the data and making sure that the properties that we're looking at are priced appropriately. And you may need to know that information so that we know where to come in with a purchase offer. Backing up a purchase offer with data will sometimes show a seller and their agent that we know what we're talking about and that data will also translate into what an appraiser will see when they uh, go to verify the purchase price. Number two, effective communication. You want an agent who is staying in close contact with you all throughout the process. The biggest value is in the closing process once we have an accepted contract. Now, obviously you want somebody to be able to negotiate skillfully on your behalf, but getting the, the transaction from contract to closing Y'all, that requires a lot of skill and a lot of communication, not just between uh, your agent and you, but uh, with the agent and the different uh, people who are processing the, the transaction at the title company, at the lender, uh, the inspectors, all those things. And staying in regular contact with you is a real important piece of that uh, process. As a home buyer, you probably uh, don't know as much as uh, somebody who has been through the process a number of times. And so staying in contact with you reassures you and makes you uh, part of the process and know that everything is being done accordingly. One of the things that really warms my heart is that uh, past clients have brought up in numerous feedback and reviews that communication is one thing that they know that I provide really well. And so you want to know that your agent is communicating with you all throughout the process, even before you are expecting it. Three, you want to select an agent that has really strong negotiation skills. Those negotiation skills will likely secure you the best deal. There's a fine line between being a very strong negotiator and just being a <laughs> jerk. <laughs> it's important to me that as a strong negotiator for you that I am maximizing your financial outcomes. Four, client testimonials. Y'all, it's very important to go back and look and see what past clients are saying about agents so that you can find somebody who feels like they might be a good fit for you. You want to go back and look at a proven track record of successful transactions so that you could be the very next one. Reading about other people's experiences will only give you more confidence moving forward with that agent. 
you should be able to find those testimonials in a number of places on Google, their Facebook business page, um, Zillow will uh, keep a number of them, their own website. Look at your agent or the agent that you're considering. Look at their website to see what uh, testimonials are there. Uh, any number of places you should be able to maybe just Google and, uh, and see what people are saying about the uh, agent that you're considering using. Number five, and one of the things that I find most important in uh, selecting a real estate agent. We sometimes say that if real estate is our profession, then politics is our business. Y'all, there are a number of us who are deeply involved in the advocacy efforts to protect your private property rights through our uh, local, state, and national associations of realtors. We have political action committees that are really uh, consumer advocacy uh, networks where we have regular conversations with uh, rule makers, lawmakers, um, at the state legislature, and through Congress. One of the things I hold very dear to uh, my real estate practice is my, my involvement in the Political Action Committee, or PAC, our PAC as it's called, Realtors Political Action Committee. And this piece of jewelry is not one of the most valuable pieces of jewelry I have. That's my wedding ring because I hold that very dear to me. My wife, Sharon, is the most important uh, person in my life. But our political action committee, this signifies the thousands of dollars that I've given through the years and the hours and hours that I've spent, the miles that I've flown and driven to make sure that lawmakers are hearing messages that make the real estate transaction for you um, with the lowest barriers and the uh, fewest hurdles involved because uh, we are working for the smoothest transactions and the most opportunities for you as a private property owner. Every spring from February to May, the Oklahoma legislature is in session and uh, through my involvement with the Oklahoma Association of Realtors, we have a number of initiatives that uh, we talk to our legislators about and really have a great relationship with them so that we are keeping the barriers to home ownership and private property ownership as low as possible. And then in May, there are several thousand of us who travel to Washington, D.C. on behalf of our National Association of Realtors. We have governance meetings with each other and then also meet with our congressional delegation to make sure that the same things are happening on the national level. My level of PAC commitment shows my commitment to shaping favorable real estate outcomes and policies to protect you, the home buyers and sellers. So I, I look at that, uh, the, particularly the financial commitment, as something that I'm giving back to the real estate community, not just taking in the form of commissions. So there you have it. Five tips for choosing the right real estate agent for you. I invite you to share this with your decision makers as you all embark on a real estate journey. And listen, I'm here for you if you have any follow-up questions or want to learn more about the process. You can find out more on my real estate website, soldonshawnee.com, or just by a quick phone or text message. One of the things that... Smoothly, not smoothly. Did I already say that?